Dude, check out these guns. Dude, I hate guns. You mother. But dude, they look fake. Dude, they are fake. You son of a. <laughs> Fellers, welcome to the morning show. To the morning show! Yeah. Let's get in on this, man. I'm here with Delgado. And What's up? Rocket Man's not here. Well, he is behind the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up back there. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn it. Pretty Stay much, back there. Pretty much, we're going to be going through 10, a uh, list of 10 viral things that we found on YouTube that we thought was either stupid or it was funny. Stupid and funny. Just so exactly like how we are in our day-to-day -day life. Stupid, funny, dumb, dumber. <laughs> <laughs> it works out. <laughs> All right. So the first one is the ALS challenge. What do you think about that rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> ALS challenge, man, that took over by storm. It was just one of those things that just everyone had to do. Everyone wanted to do, and they got a lot of money off of that. They did. But uh, from what I actually read up on it. No one really, that money didn't really actually go towards those people. It was just used for advertising. Mm -hmm. Funny on how that happens. But the video got 4 million views. Yeah. <clears throat> so 4 million views. Let alone it be on YouTube and make millions of dollars. <laughs> they make billions of dollars and they don't donate it to the actual cause. Yeah, exactly. Alright, then the guns, the gun bacon cooking. That was freaking amazing. The what, gun, do think, what do you think about that one? The gun baking cooking at 862,000 views. That's more than I've ever pissed in my entire life. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. The gun baking cooking, that's a weird, weird, weird slur to say. I enjoyed it when he showed it to me the first time. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and uh, I think it's a good, it was a good idea. I don't know how the bacon really turned out. They might have been. Just saying, it was good. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Man, it was a good idea. I think <laughs> a very inventive way to cook bacon. I mean, you're cooking bacon by by wrapping it around the gun barrel and just going through two two rounds of uh or two clips and it, heat, heating up the gun barrel and just cooking bacon that was wrapped around it. And it actually cooked it cooked it pretty good from what I heard. It's the smell. It looked like it smelled good. And yeah. it's sizzling, so. Oh. oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> oh, that sizzling is always a good sound when cooking bacon. It's always good, yep. Alright. The next one is um, the amazing last second shot. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> amazing last last second shot. When I first saw this one, I swear, I, this kid, he's a chubby kid. I did not really see that. Uh, yeah, I didn't really see that this kid would actually make the shot, just because he was probably the last. He's like, ah, oh, I'll just get in there and just dribble around the ball. That's probably what the coach said to him. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he got in there last second. He must have used his gravitational pull and it just backhanded, so he just launched it out of his orbit. He's what? And in it goes. Oh. I, how many uh how many views you reckon that video got? I reckon it got about 5.7 million views off that one video. Man, that kid is popular now. White boy throws a massive shot. <laughs> I mean, he gets in there. He does. Right. How's that moco doing for you? You know, there's not quite much left. I'm quite disappointed. Right, let's get back into the show. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the main thing, my thoughts on that was that was obviously pure luck. Talking to you. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a white boy over there. Uh, uh, just the way the video was set up, it didn't look like he was meaning to do that. But he did it, and now obviously he's making money off of it. <laughs> and now the Chubby Bunny Challenge. Oh, it looks, man. Let's get started. Chubby oh, Bunny. <laughs> Chubby Bunny. I'm going to do uh, that. I've got deer shit all over it. <laughs> oh, dude, look. It's right there. Oh. <laughs> the Chubby Bunny Challenge. That's where you take marshmallows and put them in your mouth, and you say Chubby Bunny after each one you put in your mouth. I have not personally tried this, but 
a lot of YouTubers have been doing this. And it's been taken by storm, actually. Uh, how many views do you reckon? Well, I'll, I'll, that one's actually one of the lowest videos that we found at 500,000 views. Oh, one of the lowest. Yeah. You know, what can you do? Yeah, that's true. One of the lowest. Well, yeah. And uh, the Chubby Bunny, uh, I reckon it would be a funny challenge to do, but I think it's meant for girls. <laughs> <laughs> to see how much shit they can put in their mouth. <laughs> or at least how big their mouth is. Yeah, exactly. Guys doing that. Uh, it's not not really a cute thing, man. It's or it's just not manly. Yes. Stay like tuned next Sunday for us doing the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the challenge. I'm gonna be just filming. No, Rocket Man. If you're watching on any three of these cameras, you're doing the Chubby yeah. Bunny challenge. Yeah, yeah. We got you, man. We got you. Yeah. Right there, 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 there. There and maybe on there later. Yeah, maybe. We don't know. All right. There. If, you're, if you're listening to this shit, you better fucking do the Chubby Bunny challenge. Yeah. Chubby Bunny challenge. Next Sunday, you! Alright, let's get on to the next one. Let's see. The Kylie Jenner challenge. Oh my god, that stupid ass challenge. The big lip. Uh, AKA big lip challenge. That stupid ass challenge. You can obviously tell how I stand on this one. What do yeah. you think? Me? I I knew about I saw the challenge on Facebook. I keep talking. So I saw the challenge on Facebook and I uh, didn't know what the actual name was. And he showed it to me once I told him about it, and he already knew it. So he told me the name, the Kylie Jenner. I think, that, I think that's her name. Yeah. And it's where you, you take a bottle, <laughs> not maybe not this big, unless you're like nothing. You put your lips on it and you suck it in, and it makes your lips freaking huge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch. Click on the link below in the description and watch it. Down there. Yeah, down there, there, and there. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. It's um. I don't like it. I've seen pictures of uh, people going to the hospital for it. Yeah, because they, they <laughs> suck on it too much, and then they end up splitting their lip. And I've actually seen a picture of a guy who actually split his lip up to about his, his nostril. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're going to be perfect for jail, man. You'll, you'll get wide on that one. Yeah, if you're willing to take a bottle to the lips, you'll take a lot more to the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that one, I reckon it got uh, a million views, probably collected, but it, guys, it's a stupid challenge. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's just not worth your time. I'll do the ghost pepper before I do that again. Yeah. I'll take two, two ghost peppers before I do that challenge. Yeah. And I reckon I'm not going to do that one. So. I reckon I'm not even going to try. I thought about trying it, though. Yeah. But I'm not going to, because who needs big lips? Yeah. <laughs> when you got dipping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dip time! Dip time. Alright, so the number seventh goes out to the proper magic trick. <laughs> the proper magic trick. Oh, God. This is this is a good prank or uh, magic trick to do on, do on someone. The trick is you put the quarter underneath a bottle of water and the, the, the trick is to get the quarter to go in the bottom, uh, the bottom of the bottle. Oh, yeah, I remember this one now. <laughs> So, yeah, show them the quarter, put it down, put the bottle on top, and you're like, all right, look, look down in the bottle. You see it? You see it? You see how you can see it at the bottom? All right. You lift it up, put it back down, rub it around. All right. Now do you see it in, see it in the bottom? As you come over and you look at the bottom of the bottle, squeeze. You squeeze, water shoots up, and it's just awesome. <laughs> Doesn't, doesn't it, get no better than that. It's a good prank to pull on your buddies and say, hey, I got a magic trick for you. Look at the bottom of the barrel. Bah! Rocket Man. I say Rocket Man does that one. No, I reckon we, uh... No, I think he's sleeping. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep uh, it down, asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shut up! Just kidding, Rocket Man, if you're watching or listening... <laughs> uh, I didn't call you an asshole on purpose. I was kidding. No, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> so my thoughts on that proper magic trick, I think, like I said, it's a great idea. Um, I, like you guys saw in my last video, two videos ago, whatever, I, I used to do magic, but that's a good one. That's a prank, not a magic trick. Yeah. That got 722,000 views. I was spraying water into some person's face. Because <laughs> it's proper magic. Proper magic, yeah. From the UK! <laughs> Nikki Bella singing Let It Go to John Cena. <laughs> I 
I, I've seen this these uh, dubmash.com taken over by storm. Everyone doing this and just having a blast with them. As you see, we'll have the link down below for this one. He's sitting on on the on the crapper, and he's just sitting there. And Nikki Bello is just filming, singing, "Let It Go," and John Cena, of course, as a great entertainer, just oh ah oh yeah. at the end of the video, <laughs> just letting it go. Just taking a mad shit. <laughs> Give props to Nikki Bella for actually sticking through <laughs> and hearing her man drop a deuce. Boop. While singing Let It, just let it go. <laughs> now, if you guys haven't heard that song, Let It Go, then you're out of date because it's been all over social media. Like oh, my times. God. I like the remix one. Oh. Fuck it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The remix version, so much better. So much better. That uh, video got... Surprisingly, only 60,518 views. Oof. Pretty uh, precise number on that one. <laughs> right to the core. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, yesterday. As far as yesterday went. Yeah. Now, for number nine, um, this challenge I actually plan on doing again in the future, maybe next week or something. He, he, you're back there. Um, now, for number eight, or number nine, it goes to the cinnamon challenge. A lot of you people must know the cinnamon challenge. Maybe this guy might not, but this one and this one might. I don't know. Maybe both of you and not you. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't know. But this one is probably the most viral video that we found, just glancing through YouTube. Pretty much you take a spoon, a regular tablespoon of cinnamon, and you eat it. You try to eat it. And uh, explain to them what it does to you when you eat it. When you try to eat it. When you try to eat it, it seizes up your throat and it it's like turns your your throat really dry and you can't really breathe that well because it seizes up your throat and you, if you hold on and you try to stick it out you're just making it worse for you you're not going to be able to breathe you're going to faint and you're going to pass out simple as that i mean water doesn't help <laughs> it doesn't yeah i mean he's planning on doing it But, you know, I'm personally not not really going to try this one. I'll probably try the next next one, we're, next video that we're going to talk about. Everybody, you're never ready. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so, Simmon Challenge clocked in at 44 million views. I don't know the, to the core price number. Yeah, 44 million views. I'm not even going to tell you how much that video made because that's a lot of digits yeah we're not that good at math math but uh yeah, yeah he's good all right so number 10 i'm gonna let him take it away just because we found this video at the last second like no joke a minute before we even started recording take her away all right and our last video that we're going to talk about for today is <laughs> the gunshot prank gone wrong in china <laughs> this guy he had a microphone or had, he had a speaker and he played a gun a gunshot on it and it just played so this guy comes around the corner and he just says no no please don't shoot me please don't shoot me oh, and wow. of course chinese but that's what i think he said just because i don't know chinese that well so our viewers not that great at it fair enough i'm in america <laughs> english Thank you. Motherfucker. <laughs> English motherfucker. <laughs> or German. Or German, yeah. German's not too bad. Yeah. But. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but. He does this three times. Both times. Keep it down back there, motherfucker. Stop throwing shit, you dick. Yeah, well, we're recording back here. <laughs> <laughs> but. Three times. Two people. In, in first skit. It's a couple, they walk up, and this, the guy comes around the corner and says, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. And next thing you know, the gunshot goes off, and they run away. That's what average citizens would do. <laughs> now, this next guy, he, he he's on a bike, he, he starts riding up, and then he comes around the corner, and next thing you know, gunshot goes off, 
rather than, you know, taking off right away, he turns his bike around and then books it away. <laughs> wow. Now, I, I, why he decided to take his bike with him, we don't know. Never know. But I guess his bike was that important to him. Yeah. So, now the third one. Now, this is a citizen down in the south. <laughs> he's packing. He has a gun with him. This this citizen, he's he's probably a citizen from the south. He he's walking up, and next thing you know, it, it happens, and he shows he shows he comes around the corner, and gunshot goes off. Reaches for his back, like, all right. So what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Next thing you know, the other guy comes around the corner, pulls his gun. Gunshot goes off, shoots the other guy. The prankster. Oh, <laughs> shoots the prankster. Oh my god. This guy, this guy actually got shot. Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, I reckon that guy did, the, the person who shot the prankster did the right thing. <laughs> if, uh, since he didn't know it was a prank. Yeah. And they had to have seen it coming. Who, who, I mean, can't prank everybody. Yeah. Some people take it a little too serious and start laughing right to the fucking kidney. <laughs> yeah. Took it straight to the kidney shot. Oh. It didn't even go in and out. It stayed. Yeah. So like, it obviously wasn't a using full metal jacket. <laughs> you need a fucking hollow point. Yeah. <laughs> you need a hollow point on that guy. Oh. Yeah. But at least he was packing. So that's that's an American citizen right there. From China. Right there. From China, American citizen. Yeah. Packing. Overseas. Overseas. <laughs> Alright, so that video, check it out. It got 42,387 views. Now, that's our actually our lowest uh, video. But it was, it's kind of funny. People are that stupid to do that kind of prank on people. Yeah. But, um, oh boy. Anyways, guys, that was the top 10 viral videos that we found on YouTube. If you guys want to check it out, check out his video. It'll be the same video on his channel. Go to subscribe to him, subscribe to me, subscribe to Rocket Man, because why not? He's we put him back there on purpose, so you know, there just in case he's back there. Here's his knife. Take her easy, pal. <laughs> Take her easy, pal. All right. He's made him fucking metal. Oh, Jack. Anyways, that's that's what um, we're gonna cut it there. And if you guys enjoy these type of little videos that we are gonna start doing, let us know in the comments. And uh, if you want to see more like this. Comment down below, like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one, stay awesome.